Hey, what's up? So you've seen the unboxing and the features of the Nextetron A3 Pro in my previous video. And just in case if you have missed that, you'll find the link in the description. So in this video, I'll be showing you in detail the technical specifications, the video samples from both day and night conditions and show you a very interesting license plate readability of this trash cam. It's safe to say that I am very impressed with what this camera offers at the price of less than 5000 rupees. This is definitely a game changer and you too should take a look at this video to believe it for yourself. So let's jump in straight into the video and show you what's this all about. So this dash camera provides a resolution of 2304 into 1296p at 25 frames per second. It has a bit rate of about 6000 kbps and the file size is about 60 MB per minute. Taking a look at the license plate readability at a distance of about 10 feet at night. Now I can observe that my headlight is falling directly on the license plate and this is causing a complete whitewash of the license plate read. But here's something very interesting and very cool which I need to show you. As soon as my car gets very near and the glare comes down a bit, you get a very crystal clear read of the license plate with absolutely no noise. And I haven't seen any budget dash camera do this at such a short distance. So that's a very incredible thing by the next Registron A3 Pro. Coming to the overall video footage quality, I think the glare from the opposite headlights if you are seeing on the screen right now is getting some light streaks. That is actually good because they are not those hazy bright spots in the video which completely spoil the video quality of the night footage. They are actually light streaks and that's a very cool sign that the camera is working very well to give you a very good night footage. I'm actually very happy with the night footage provided by the next Nextestron A3 Pro and I would definitely recommend this camera for someone who is looking for a good and a decent night footage for a price of less than 5000 rupees. Coming to the daytime footage, I think I have already mentioned it. I am really impressed with the quality of the daytime footage from this camera and I have already told this in my previous video as well. But let's jump in and take a look at the license plate readability at a distance of about 15 feet. Now if I just go ahead and zoom in on the license plate in the car in front of me. So as you can see the license plate readability is slightly blurred but you can make out the individual letters and numbers and that's again a very incredible thing. If I just go ahead and zoom in at a very close range, now this actually looks like a 4K dash camera license plate read and I wouldn't have been able to make out the difference if you had told me this was a 4K camera. The crystal clear quality of the license plate is pretty evident because there's absolutely no noise and gives you a very sharp picture. Talking about the overall video quality, again I have repeated this in my previous video, the video footage looks very much natural. The exposure, saturation, contrast and brightness levels are set perfectly balanced and you won't be able to make out that this footage is from a budget dash camera. What I can definitely say is if I was looking for a camera under 5000 rupees and I wanted some really good footage, I would definitely choose the next Nextetron A3 Pro or several of the other budget dash cams that are available out there. So what do you think now? Well, I definitely think that if you are looking for an entry-level budget dash camera and you want the best camera in that price bracket segment, this is definitely the A3 Pro's job. It's got this amazing video clarity day and night and it's got a really good license plate readability as well. Not to mention you get parking monitoring from this camera right out of the box without having to purchase a separate hardware kit. Well, what more do you ask for when you're getting such a very good combo? And if you are interested in purchasing this dash camera, the link to purchase is given right below. So just go ahead, click down on the description. You'll find the link right there. Also, if you have any doubts or queries regarding this, do write them down in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So this has been an amazing video and definitely this is not the last because very soon I'll be bringing a comparison of the A3 Pro with the DDPi Mini Pro. Yes, both cameras have same resolution and come at about a similar price point. So if you are confused which of these two cameras to go ahead with, that confusion will definitely be solved after I bring up the comparison video of those two cameras. So make sure you do not miss that important video by hitting that subscribe button right away and smashing that like button before you move on to the next one. Also, if you're interested in checking out some other dash cams and related accessories, you can check out the website nextdigitron.com. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.